All you coin collectors out there, and welcome to DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. Today we've got a little bit of explaining to do, and that is people want to know why we call this the second portrait of Jefferson on the American five cent or nickel coin. So here's the first portrait of Jefferson, and this one we're looking at here is a mint set. 1999. We can see the D there for the Denver Mint. Now that coin with that image on it was uh, from 1938 until 2003 was this coin with this image. And then in 2005 we got this coin with this image of Jefferson on it. And then back to 2006 and on we got this coin here with this image of Jefferson on it. So Whatever we see here, we see it sure looks like there's three different versions. Now, what's going on here? Well, from 1938 until 2003, this coin was made with this Jefferson on it, facing to the left. It's a Felix Schlag portrait of Jefferson, and Felix Schlag also did the reverse. And there's the reverse on it, the Monticello reverse on it. It says, E Pluribus Unum. Monticello, five cents, United States of America. So that was made just like that every year, except for a couple silver years in the war, uh, World War II. It always looked like this. Then something weird happened, and I'm going to show you this coin, but it's not even one of the ones uh, we're looking at the front of, and that is a new coin came out, and it was this coin and this coin. And so you're going, okay, well, that's the same Jefferson, right? But what they did was they changed the back for the 200th anniversary of the Lewis and Clark expedition. And so here's the peace pipe version of it. And here's the, um, the boat version of it. And so this is actually called, this particular boat is called a keel boat. And you can see it has a keel and they kind of paddle it as they go along. Let's, let's take a look at these two coins. So on this one, they had the same Jefferson on the front, but they changed the back of the coins to the keel boat and to the peace pipe um, uh, Jefferson from the Louisiana Purchase and from the Westward uh, Lewis and Clark. So that was in 2004. But again, the same Jefferson on the front. In 2005, they came out with some more Lewis and Clark. And here are the two of them. These are both... Uh, as you can see, um, the same, uh, but they look slightly different simply because uh, uh, one has more wear than the other. But this is, again, in God we trust. So what they've done is they've taken Jefferson from facing to the left to facing to the right. They've taken a God we, in God we trust and they put it in front of him again. But they put, instead of putting liberty behind him, they put liberty down here. And then there's the D in the 2005. And guess what's on the back of this one? Well, this is the Ocean in View, Oh, the Joy, the famous Lewis and Clark expedition reaches the Pacific five cents. And this one here is just a magnificent coin, a throwback to the earlier five cent Buffalo nickel coins. And this is the uh, Buffalo five cent from 2000 and six and I mean 2005 and so 2005 here 2004 here and then prior to 2000 and five here and so now we've got one we've got two and then they, uh, when they decided to come back, they put out a new Jefferson, and that's this one here that we have the 2007 proof version of Jefferson. And this is from the silver proof set, um, but of course it's not silver. It is, just like all the other ones, a copper nickel coin. And this S coin is relatively valuable, I guess you could say, 2007 S. It's worth about $2.25 in this proof version that we have here. And we tip it up. You see something really interesting right back here? They changed it up a little bit on this one. 
So this, of course, is not the Felix Schlag portrait that was on from 38 uh, until 2003. This is the Jamie Frankie Donna Weaver. And so there's a D, D, W. Okay, so over here, let's see the D. DW right here, Donna Weaver. And then up here, we have the JF, uh, Jamie Frankie. It's actually, you see, it's not just a JF. It's like a J, almost looks like a JNF. And so this, this is what they came out with in 2007. They called it the second portrait because they considered this portrait to merely be a commemorative version and not an actual portraiture portrait. Of course, um, it may be that um, Joe Fitzgerald and Don Everhart would beg to differ because, and you can see some initials down here, uh, they did this portrait, but for some reason this is often called, not called the portrait at all. This is called the first, this is called the second. And then they did something even more interesting, and that's they returned to Monticello. So remember in the original coins from 38 until 2003. They had Monticello on the back. And then they went to the keel boat, uh, the uh, Oh, the Joy. They went to the Buffalo. They went to the Peace Pipe, Louisiana Purchase. And so in 2006, when they went back to uh, the so-called second portrait, which we call the third portrait, they changed the back back to the original reverse uh, from 1938 until 2003. And of course, that's a Felix Schlag reverse. So Felix is still on here, but now he's on the reverse. And how can we tell? Because when we magnify it, we see the FS here for Felix Schlag. And when we magnify it, we see a magnificent Monticello on this proof five cent coin. Again, it's worth a couple dollars, two to three dollars. See the steps, see the detail, see the window casing, see the kind of um, fence around the top here and see the dome on the top. Look at that. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Cornwall International Corn Channel. Good luck nickel hunting out there or five cent coin hunting, if you want to call it that.